So let us solve one more problem in trigonometric equations. So let us observe the question first. If a cos 2 theta plus b sin 2 theta is equal to c has theta 1 theta 2 as its solutions then show that tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 is equal to 2b by c plus a tan theta 1 multiplied by tan theta 2 equals to c minus a by c plus a and hence show that tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to b by a. So that means if you observe this problem, the problem is given here cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta. But so we have to find out tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 as well as tan theta 1 into tan theta 2. So that means in order to find out these two values first of all, we need to change this cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta in terms of tan. So then there is a possibility of getting a quadratic equation in terms of tan theta as theta has the two solutions that is theta 1 and theta 2 whereas if we get a quadratic equation in terms of tan theta here the roots of the, the quadratic equation obviously becomes tan theta 1 and tan theta 2. So here it is very clear that tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 means sum of the roots that we have to evaluate. So in the similar pattern the tan theta 1 into tan theta 2 is nothing but product of the roots. So having been evaluated these two values it is very, very easy to find out tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 that is in the form of tan of a plus b formula simply using the compound angles chapter that is the compound angles one of the formulae we can make use of that one that is tan of a plus b tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. So this kind of strategy has to be followed to solve this problem. So first the step is let us convert the cos 2 theta in terms of tan theta sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta. So then we get a quadratic equation in tan theta. After that find some of the roots then product of the roots after that evaluate tan of theta 1 plus theta 2. So let us start. So now here given a cos 2 theta plus b sin 2 theta equals to c. In multiples and submultiple angles already we have studied cos 2 theta is nothing but 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So whereas sin 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Let us substitute those values now. So now this becomes like this a times 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta plus b times sin 2 theta. Sin 2 theta means 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta equals to c this is tan, this is also tan. So if you want the proofs of this sin 2 theta and cos 2 theta, they are available in our playlist that you can go for the playlist that is multiples and sub multiple angles. You can have the proofs of cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta also. So that means now let us simplify this one. Multiply 1 plus tan square theta on both sides. So if you multiply 1 plus tan square theta on both sides, we get like this a times 1 minus tan square theta plus b times 2 tan theta equals to c times 1 plus tan square theta. So let it be simplified now. So we get a minus a tan square theta plus 2b tan theta equals to c plus c tan square theta. 
so let us rearrange them so if you take all the these three values that side we get c tan square theta plus a tan square theta that we get c plus a of tan square theta and minus 2b tan theta equals to sorry plus c minus a equals to 0. Now it is a quadratic equation in tan theta. So now we have like this. Since theta 1 theta 2 are the solutions of theta that implies this equation has two roots one is tan theta 1 and tan theta 2 because it is a quadratic equation in tan theta. So that implies tan theta 1 tan theta 2 are the roots of the say equation for example 1 of equation 1 equation 1. So that being a quadratic equation we can find out sum of the roots and product of the roots it is very easy. So we can find out now tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 sum of the roots sum of the roots is equal to we know. So equals to minus b by a. So that means here tan theta coefficient is minus 2b whereas tan square theta coefficient is c plus a. So that means we get like this minus of minus 2b by c plus a. So which equals to 2b by c plus a. Just check. Yes 2b by c plus a. It has been proved. So now tan theta 1 into tan theta 2. Tan theta 2. This equals to in general c by a. It's constant term by actually here tan square theta coefficient. So that means we have here c minus a by c plus a. So c minus a by c plus a. So now let us find out here tan of theta 1 plus theta 2. So from compound angles we have the formula I already discussed tan of a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. So that using that formula, so this can be written like this tan of theta 1 plus tan of theta 2 divided by 1 minus tan theta 1 into tan theta 2. So check the formula. So now the respective values are to be substituted here. Tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 is 2b by c plus a. Whereas tan theta 1 into tan theta 2 is c minus a by c plus a. So by substituting this is 2b by c plus a and 1 minus c minus a by c plus a. So correct. So now we get like this here 2b by c plus a divided by c plus a c plus a minus c plus a c c cancel c plus a c plus a cancel 2b by 2a now 2 2 gets cancel 2 1 ja 2 we have b by a yes see just check the problem tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to b by a so using these two we have evaluated the value of tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 which equals to b by a. Hence it is fruit.